Hello, I'm here to showcase my physics assignment, which is programming the calculation for uh, finding rigidity modulus. We created a data structure called a little table and a function to get a specific cell and a function to input a specific cell from the user and a function to create a new table and a function to delete a table a function to initialize a table with a given uh, a row initializer function and a function to print a table in a beautiful manner and a function to sum a whole column and uh, get the result in the main function we just take in the necessary uh, initial value inputs based on the data we have we create a table in this function call and then we initialize the table using this function we just uh, says get the zero itself from the user first and the second from the user the third cell is given by first cell the second cell divided by two and the fourth cell is given by the third cell divided by the number of oscillations and the fifth cell is given by zero cell divided by the fourth cell squared and uh, we just print the table out and then the master calculation happens lt squared i and modulus is uh, generated and printed hence the experiment calculation is done so let's uh, run the program Compile it. Link it to math and we enter the data needed. There we go. We have the whole table for our calculation and the final result of our calculation. But this kind of input model has a drawback. You can't go back and edit your previous values. If you have put something wrong, you have to start the program all over again, which is not so convenient. Hence, I've decided to give you another alternate solution for this calculation using org tables. Org tables is essentially a spreadsheet, uh, kind of like Excel spreadsheets, but it's a lot better in some ways. And here we define all the constants needed, the pi, number of oscillations, disk mass, disk radius, and y radius. And then we could plug in our readings here. And then here I have defined all the formulas needed to calculate mean, time period, L by D squared, and uh, eventually the rigidity modulus. If I apply this formula, we get the result of the experiment. Here it is, 29714367006700. Hence, we've done the calculation very easily and simply.